voice coming from? You and me, as long as you see. A lonely heart doesn't mean it's so close when the night was fast. You and me. Oh dear, I. Uh Sorry, I thought I was alone. No, please, continue. I prefer not to, really. I'm... I'm Jennifer, by the way. Lindsay? But call me Lynn. I'm sorry for earlier on. Don't worry about it. I was too intrusive. And I extremely rude. Oh, well, truce? <laughs> Truth. <laughs> what were you doing here? I was just singing. I usually play the violin, but they locked it away as soon as I got here. <laughs> if you can play the violin even as half as well as you can sing, then you're a fucking master. <laughs> Nothing special. You got a great voice. And that song. Did you write it? I'm still working on it. I got an idea! There's a festival for artists with original songs. The winner gets a full scholarship at the conservatory. Here, look! The performance will take place in a theatre. I say you should go for it! No, no. There's no way I would ever be capable of something like that. Why did you say that? First off, we're stuck here. Second, singing and playing the violin at the same time is too complicated. I, I could never do it on my own. I could do it with you! I play the piano! Listen, we can do this! I don't know, Jen. I don't know. And how would we even get there? We could talk to Ashwin about it. Yeah, dream on. <laughs> it's only two weeks away. We can work on it together. All we need is a music sheet and a bit of practice. I know the piano so well that it's basically a part of me. But the lyrics are nowhere near finished. My father used to tell me that nothing, not even time, can get in the way of something you truly desire. Where are you from? <laughs> it's not a nice story. Fail. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner! Abdul Jabbar? Have you ever tried one? Sure, why not? Fuck it. <laughs> when the smoke is about to enter your throat, you exhale. <laughs> Do you believe in fate? This song. I love it. Did you know they made it for a movie? Seriously? You bet. Before saying goodbye, it was a great hit in the 60s. Have you never heard of it? No. My parents brought me to the cinema to see it. As soon as we got home, my father taught me how to play the theme song on the piano. <laughs> Would you like it if we were to watch it together one day? You bet.
What am I doing? Oh, don't give up now, Jim. <laughs> I can hear you. I can feel what you are feeling. I am in your head. You keep getting closer and closer. But what are you planning to do? Stop me. You will fail. As did all those who came before you. Switched on. This is how it all started. Gloria managed to obtain control of the other nuns, becoming Mother Acrantia. Wyman couldn't possibly have used the business's finances to fund the experiments without someone noticing, which means that Ashman knew everything. No wonder, while everyone thought you were dead, you were down here, playing the role of the happy surgeon. Phenoxyl. Created as a byproduct of synthesizing the moth parasite known as Acherontia, its use leads to a parasitic infection. By emulating the moth's behavior, Phenoxyl can result in a collective hypnosis in which multiple individuals are forced to obey a leader or a mother Acherontia. Collective Hypnosis The leader uses a person known as the medium as a channel and amplifier for other subjects. When the medium is surrounded by mirrors to simulate a fragmentation of the mind, the parasites awaken and spread. The Start The leader uses a recall element for the medium called the anchor. This can be a nursery rhyme or a song, and it's this that initiates the hypnosis. The leader acquires full control over everyone else through the medium. A collective consciousness starts. The ending. The leader can interrupt the loop by awakening the medium with a push, another nursery rhyme or a song. When the infected subjects and the medium wake, everything that happened during the hypnotic phase is forgotten the collective consciousness breaks. The Fracture If a collective hypnosis is abruptly interrupted, there is a risk of fracture, also called the porcelain phase. Here, the leader's consciousness becomes fragmented and is then absorbed by the medium. The body of the leader becomes wholly controlled by the Acherontia, while the leader's mind remains trapped inside the medium, gradually unable to control his own body. Meanwhile, the parasite continues its expansion in the infected subjects. Collective hypnosis will occur regularly until another potential leader intervenes to break the looping cycle. Oh dear. what happened? It's a hidden door. Did Wyman really believe that it was possible to suppress pain or a disease with a fucking psychotropic? Is it supposed to be the myth of the super fucking man? Oh, 
permanently damaged. The Feltons and the Ashmans used me as a scapegoat. Those goddamn traitors. And despite everything, I managed to convince Stefano Ashman to offer me some protection. I was left with no choice but to stage my own death. The parasite had completely crippled the Mun's mind. They had gone mad. They, they used to recognize me as the leader, but once the parasite started taking over, I was expelled from the hierarchy. I was no longer the mother of Adronosha, and because of them, the disease started to spread in the nearby area. I too was soon infected. I never thought that Gloria Ashman would survive the fire. I... She intends to take the role of Mother Artenosha. So I can't let her do that. I, I have to carry out a group hypnosis in order to get everyone to kneel to me again. Her two were storing me as their leader. Oh, but that porcelain thing. The fracture. The fracture, though, is what I feel. All of the subjects could be forever left anchor to one another and be stuck in an interview hypnotic loop with no hope of salvation. The parasite. The parasite could, could choose to independently take over one of the subjects, making him or her the, the leader, connecting everyone to a single mind, sending everyone in an infinite hypnotic loop. Fuck! Not again! What? What the hell is going on now? this place? All these clothes and these toys? What does it all mean? There you are. Where have I ended up? And this? How did it end up here? <laughs> in order to get everyone to meet uh, me again. Her two were stowing me a We are trapped in a hypnotic loop. As soon as the loudspeaker starts ticking, our minds go back into a limbo.
Anybody there? Lynn! Can anyone hear me? I'm trapped down here! Can somebody help me? Lynn! Lynn, tell me you're there! Anyone! Somebody! Somebody help! I'm down here in this shithole! Lynn! Lynn! If you're there, can you hear me? Tons of films here. This place isn't so bad after all. <laughs> Just kidding. Let's go, you and I. Seriously? Look, you are the only thing that has ever made me feel alive. I want to start over from scratch. Explain to me, what exactly are we looking for? Shh. We have to be quiet. Ashman always keeps some cash in the office. For small emergencies, etc. Yes, yes, yes! I like getting myself into trouble. Let's call it a compensation for our services. I wonder if I'll also find my violin. I haven't played it in ages. How long ago did you get here? It will be two years in November. I needed a roof over my head. Ashman was rebuilding his new project, the hotel. So... Here's the new maid. What about you? How was the Flemington girls and whatever it's called? Mm, it wasn't bad, more than anything. We're here. And before that? I ran away. At least that's what I remember. Lynn, it's a sad story. I left it in the past. Do you ever feel the urge to rewrite it all? Change life, change name, feel like a whole new person. All the time. Locked, obviously. What now? Wait, I can try to force it. Have you done it before? Um, no, but I've seen it being done. So, you became a professional after watching it being done? No, but I'm a quick learner. <laughs> well, hun, let's roll up our sleeves. Can you imagine Ashman's face when he finds out we used his money to pay for train tickets, hotel, and the contest sign-up fee? Oh... <laughs> Yes, he will lose his shit. I knew it. This place is like a museum. 
museum. Come out. Did you find something? No, nothing. What do we have here? Go crazy, would you say? Uh, where did you find that? And what are you planning to do with it? Oh, I, I almost forgot. <gasps> you finished it! I convinced myself that we should take part in the contest. <sighs> we have to try it immediately! But how? I'll show you. Help me out. What are you doing?! Pretend you can hear the music. I'll guide you. have to leave now. The window. Jennifer. It's the same thing. They will never let me leave.
did you do down there? In the loudspeaker control room? I... simply took out the cables. Dad, why did you do it? I... I don't understand. I ended the sequence. You're free! That's exactly what they wanted you to do! The exact reason why you ended up in this fucking place! I... In one I, way or another, Porcelain kept us all guarded. Someone else will take his place now. And it's going to be ten times worse. It's only a matter of time. Oh, Shen, you shouldn't have. They will never let me leave. Why are you involved in this too? Explain, for God's sake. What did you do? I had warned you not to touch anything. Not to trust anyone. Enough of the stuttering! And the child is dreaming in a REM face. The riddle. And on open wings, a moth is... Is a place. And when his mother screamed that much, a blood red death bestowed its touch. I told you to leave. To leave this godforsaken place! <laughs> what the hell was that? They found us. And he never left us. <laughs> Why did you do it? <laughs> <laughs>